sections, example one. In this tutorial, we'll look at a very simple sectioning exercise, specifically looking at a laser-pointed tube. So if we have a laser-pointed tube that looks like this, and we are drawing three views, a top view where we see the slot, we have a principal view, and you can see all the hidden detail that we have here in the principal view indicating what's happening on the inside of this tube. So that's just an enlargement, so you can see what is happening on the inside of that section. And then we have a right view from, the fr from this angle. Now the point of hidden detail is to show what's happening on the inside. But if we start to section something, we literally cut through this component, through the middle, in this case, and we take the whole front por portion of that away. Which means that now the hidden information that we saw on this view becomes actual information that we see and it's not hidden anymore. So if you look at this example where I started to fill in the detail for the top view and the section view, basically what I'm going to do is exactly this shape that I see as hidden detail now is not hidden anymore. It actually becomes detail that I see on my drawing. So exactly those lines that I have in there before, I'm going to redraw, redraw all those lines as if I'm seeing them as solid lines because now they're not hidden anymore because I've actually cut that front part of the component away. So I'm redrawing all of this. And all those previously hidden lines now become solid lines. Now when I have a section, I have to indicate that I've cut through the material. And we indicate that by hatching through the component that we've seen. And pay attention that the hatch is between the lines. I'm not running over the, the lines. Just the material part that is cut through, I actually will hatch that part. So you can see this section is actually a hole. So that section, I'm cutting through a hole. So I'm not seeing material here. But I'm actually seeing this face. I'm seeing a face behind it. So I'm cutting through the middle here and I'm seeing that face behind. So that's why that face is clear. There's no material that I'm actually cutting through. Okay, so you can continue to section, just hatching this. All the way through. And that will be your completed section view of this particular laser tube. So just adding in the center lines to make sure you have all the information. Now remember the point of a section view is to reduce hidden detail or take it away altogether. So when you have a section view it's highly unlikely that you need any hidden detail. So to err on the side of caution it would be better if you have a section view to completely just forget about the hidden detail if you're unsure where you would need hidden detail to be added. Okay, so that's how your three views would look. So let's add in a couple of dimensions here. So here what we can do, you see we have three circles in this case. Remember before we said that we can only dimension two circles. So if we have the one and perpendicular to the first one we have the second one, the third one we can't squish on this view as well. So what we'll do is we'll use it here. We'll have extension lines. We'll have a normal, normal dimension line. But when we indicate the dimension, we indicate that it is a diameter. So we know that this is not just a normal straight piece, but it's actually part of a circular component. So please take note of that dimension. We have not done that before. If we dimension this, remember from the tutorial before on dimensions, you want to dimension from the component on the inside. Extension lines can run through the component. And we can say that is 14. And then we have extension lines running on the outside, 18. In this case, we might have a very small piece to indicate a dimension. So we use this type of dimension where we just make lines on either side and we write what that dimension is over there. So you can continue to add dimensions in that way. Most important thing here is to remember to have the extension line from the actual component you're dimensioning and if you have a third 
diameter that you can use any of the other views, but you still need to indicate this diameter signal symbol.